Okay, so hi everyone, hi guys, uh, this is me again, Gorby, and for today we're going to have a little bit of a different topic, which is all about, uh, we're going to talk about jaw pain. So if you are someone who's experiencing pain and discomfort in your jaw, when you try to open and close your mouth, sometimes you feel a grinding sensation whenever you uh, chew food. You may also feel a little bit of a tension headache here on this spot along with your jaw pain. You feel that your jaw is going to lock whenever you try to open or close it. This video, this content is for you. So I just want you to sit back and relax. Watch the whole series as I share with you guys um, some of the things that I know on how you can troubleshoot your jaw pain. Okay guys, so to some of you, you might be experiencing jaw pain for a long time now. So it can be weeks or months and you probably ask for a lot of uh, help and opinion in regards to how you will solve this unrelenting type of pain. So uh, not a lot of people are aware that physical therapists uh, like me can help can be of great help with these types of problem. So what I'm going to share with you right now guys is um, some of the things that I know official therapy standpoint on how you can work on and solve this underlying type of pain. So to begin with, the first thing uh, that we have to understand is whenever we're trying to fix something in our body, whatever body part that is, could be knee, neck, low back, or your shoulder. Uh, right now, as we're talking about the jaw, the first thing that we have to understand is for us to fix something, we have to learn first how that works. So in our specific scenario, we have to learn first how the jaw joint works for us to be able to do some troubleshooting on it. So it's the same thing when you're trying to fix a certain problem in your car. You have to know the parts, their function, and how it relates together for you to be able to at least somehow do some troubleshooting on it. So it's the same thing with our body. So the key thing or the first thing that we will uh, try to uncover today is us learning first how this jaw joint Okay, so our jaw joint works actually almost every time. So as I'm speaking right now, this joint is working, moving in this direction. So whenever we try to eat also and chew and bite our food, so this joint is actually working. To some people, uh, even when they're asleep, they're unconsciously uh, moving their jaw, especially to those people who are uh, grinding their teeth when they are sleeping so it's actually working almost 24 7 and then when we try to uh, like for example bite hard stuff or ha hard food we try to bite our nail or when we're stressed we're kind of clenching our jaw it works even more so I just want you to imagine that it's always working super hard and then it's almost working every time but not enough care and attention has been given to this joint compared to the other parts of our body like the low back, neck, and shoulder. So, but like the other uh, body parts or like the other joints in the body, uh, this joint is also subject to overuse and stress as we develop bad habits over time. So that's why it's also important for us to really look at it and uh, do some self-care on this joint. Okay, so now for us to understand it even better, we have to look at two things, which is one, how this joint actually moves, and then second are the parts or the muscles influencing this joint uh, on what direction they will go or on what dire direction will they move. So predominantly on a daily basis, our jaw joint works in one direction, which is opening and closing. Of the mouth so almost every time this joint works that way that's its natural design now uh, it can also move or it can also shift sideways so moving 
good moving this way so it can also move like that and then it can also shift forward and backward so so the act of protruding your jaw forward we call that protrusion and then once you try to bring it back to its natural position that's called uh, retrusion so it can move forward back side to side and then open and close so that's basically how this joint moves okay so now for the parts so muscles surrounding the jaw so we have uh, muscles that are responsible for for closing the mouth we have muscles responsible for opening the mouth we also have muscles responsible for shifting our jaw side to side and moving our jaw forward and back so the first thing that we're going to look at are the muscles that are responsible for closing the jaw or from from this position moving that way so these two muscles we call this one the first one is temporalis which is located on your temple and then uh, here this is called the masseter which is located on the side of your jaw so these two muscles are the one responsible when we try to close our mouth and these two muscles are also often the one that are uh, tensed up for those people who are experiencing jaw pain now we also have muscles that moves our jaw side to side we call those muscles pterygoids so they are located inside the mouth so if this is your masseter right here so the counterpart of that one are your pterygoids but it's located inside so we have a medial pterygoid and a lateral pterygoid that is directly attaching from your jaw to your skull so they are responsible for moving or shifting our jaw side to side now mouth opening so we have hyoid muscles and uh, digastric muscles which are the muscles located here under your chin running through going all the way from your from the back of your ear so if these muscles contract they will try to pull it and open your jaw going that way so those are the muscles that we're uh, gonna look at today and now that we are uh, somehow familiar with how this joint moves what are the muscles that are surrounding it and how um, it can affect people who are experiencing jaw pain before we go into troubleshooting the jaw joint itself we first need to learn how to do some assessment or uh, diagnose what's basically causing the pain on your jaw so that's going to be for our next series so if you guys have questions uh, and you, you guys wanted to give feedback on the video so just shoot down your comments below and I would uh, gladly uh, get back to you connect with you keep in touch with you answer your questions and hopefully this video uh, help you with regards to your job so see you on the next video guys